I'm Jane and this is Lily and I make art using these biro pens and here's some of my art. My art practice explores loss to humans and animals generated by human destruction and represents both life's beauty and brutal reality. In 2014 I founded Drawing for Endangered Species workshops in partnership with Born Free. In my workshops, children and adults learn about endangered animals and make biro drawings of them. Today I'm at Thought Foundation and we're going to be making a bio portrait of a tiger. If you'd like to try drawing a tiger or other vulnerable species using biros, here's what you will need. A biro, paper, scrap paper, an image to use as inspiration for your drawing. You can draw from your imagination too, but study an image first to help you understand the shape of the animal if you can't draw it in the wild. Research the species you would like to draw to help you understand it better, particularly the threats it faces in the wild and how you can help. My workshops focus totally on the animal without background images to distract from the animal's features and expression. Here are some tips for making a portrait. The aim of your portrait is to bring the animal you're studying to life through your drawing. Look into the eyes of the animal in the image and try and make an emotional connection. If we care, we want to conserve. The most important parts of your animal portrait are the eyes and face. Eyes are the windows to the soul. Remember the animal is an individual being that lives its own life according to its needs. Communicate how uniquely beautiful the animal is through your drawing. Your animal portrait helps others form emotional connections with the species, which helps spread the word about their vulnerability. Drawing is one of the oldest forms of communication. These are important things to remember. We all have our own unique drawing styles and everyone's style is valid. Art is about expressing yourself and doesn't have to be photorealistic. Embrace your individuality. Work at your own pace. Some people draw quickly, others draw slowly. There's no right or wrong. Drawing helps transport your mind away from everyday life. Concentration is the key to drawing in biro as it can't be erased. Biro blots, so use scrap paper to get the excess ink from the nib. Take time to visually study the image. Look at the main outlines and pay attention to the position of the eyes and other facial features. Practice for five minutes drawing the outline and features of the animal on scrap paper. Begin your finished drawing in biro with no pencil guidelines as erasing interrupts your concentration. Center the drawing on your paper with plenty white space around it. Be brave. Don't be scared of drawing. Go for it. Lightly draw in biro the main outline, face and features. Study the distances between key features such as the eyes, nose and mouth. Observe also the negative shapes outside the main outlines. We all make mistakes. It's part of life and learning. Mistakes can be hidden by working them into the drawing. Practice makes perfect. Once you have drawn your outline and key features, you can start working on the detail and shading. My top two tips are, imagine what the animal looks like three-dimensionally and the direction its fur, feathers or scales grow. My second top tip is, before I start drawing, I say to myself, I can do this. Believe in yourself. Everyone can draw. Let's see the finished drawings. Remember, everyone can draw. So express yourselves and really enjoy drawing.